On the 25th of June, it was made clear that thousands of popular websites have just been compromised. It's quite alarming, so if anyone doesn't know about what's going on here, I wanted to do a quick video just to try and get that across to as many people as I can, because it is quite alarming. You might have been affected by it already, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know all about it and if you have or not. Um, but I've got this article here, which is uh, going to go over sort of what's going on and explain things to us if we don't know. Um, and it basically involves polyfill. Uh, if you don't know about polyfill uh, or what a polyfill is, um, it says here the Polyfill JS uh, library is an open source library uh, which is used to support older browsers. Um, and basically, loads of websites uh, embed this library using the polyfill.io domain um, for a CDN. Notable users, um, JSTOR, Intuit, uh, World Economic Forum, there's a bunch of other ones like um, Hulu as well, uh, Fio, if you watch him, I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you know who Fio is. Um, he um, noticed that uh, Hulu as well has been compromised by this, which is obviously massive. Um, big websites, like, like news websites, like The Guardian, The Telegraph. Um, there's a whole list of them which you can look up as well. Um, if I find a list somewhere, I'll, I'll link it below in the description because there is a few, I think. Basically, um, the domain for uh, Polyfill uh, has been bought. Uh, it is no longer owned by the uh, one of the, the original creator of Polyfill, um, as mentioned in this tweet here. Um, if your website uses polyfill.io, remove it immediately. I created the Polyfill service project, but I never owned the domain name and have no influence, had no influence over its sale. Uh, and, you know, that is evident by the fact that it's it's now been bought by a quite shady company, it seems, that's doing some questionable things with it. Uh, but we'll get into that, obviously. Um, so they bought a domain and the GitHub account, and since then, this domain was caught injecting malware onto mobile de devices via any site that embeds the CDN. Um, any complaints were quickly removed from the GitHub repository, which, yeah, you can see that if you go to the GitHub repository now, it warns you um, before viewing the repository that, you know, it's dangerous. The polyfill code is dynamically generated based on HTTP headers, so multiple attack vectors are likely. Sansec decoded one... Uh, Sansec being the... Uh, where we're reading the article, um, decoding one particular malware which redirects mo uh, mobile users uh, to a sports betting website using a uh, fake Google Analytics uh, URL. Um, <laughs> it's quite a funny one, uh, Googie Analytics. <laughs> um, just quite funny. Um, you know, the serious side apart. Uh, basically, the, the code is specific protection against reverse engineering and only activates on specific mobile devices at specific hours. Uh, it also does not activate when it detects an admin user. It also delays execution when a web analytics service is found, presumably to not end up in the stats. So it's it's quite sneaky as well. The original Polyfill offer recommends not to use Polyfill at all, as it's no longer needed by modern web browsers anyway, as I mentioned, um, obviously, by the tweet. But yeah, um, basically, browsers don't need to use it anymore, um, you know, with the drop-in of like, IE support and stuff like that. Polyfill is just aren't necessary anymore. Most browsers are Chromium anyway, except from Firefox and Safari, and maybe some others, and they all sort of don't need polyfills at this stage, basically. Um, Chrome's kind of forced a lot of browsers to kind of, I guess, keep up with certain standards. Um, so, yeah, we, we don't really need polyfills anymore, basically. Um, but there's some, let's say, older w legacy websites that have been around for a while, popular ones, usually, um, which still use polyfills. Probably quickly not going to be the case after this, but or so we hope. But um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's there's still quite a few that are using um, polyfills. And as we can see below here as well, we've got the uh, payload example, um, just the sort of embedded code here, um, <laughs> which goes over sort of the, the redirect to the sports betting uh, thing or to a bunch of different URLs really, but um, depending on various conditions and sort of, it's kind of obfuscated to, so you can't really figure out what certain things are and it's not meant to be easy to read and things like that. If you got code that looks like this, obviously, then if you see code that looks like this, it's probably doing something a bit dodgy. Um, so it's just an example that it gives. Um, there's probably similar things going on. Um, this kind of stuff can be injected into um, whatever this uh, CDN serving up or anything really can be injected into it. Whatever this company that owns the domain decides to inject into it, you know, that that's why this is alarming, right? You can you can throw anything in there. You go onto a website and via a, what is seemingly an analytics link, um, you can, yeah, be served up some pretty dodgy uh, JavaScript. So uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> 
watch out, I guess. Um, that's the article. There's not really much else to it. Polyfills. Um, we're still using them for some reason. We don't need to use them anymore, and now they've been compromised. Um, if you have been browsing at some point and you've been randomly redirected to a sports betting website and you think you've clicked on a dodgy ad or something, no, you probably visited one of these compromised websites that still use Polyfill. Um, just something to watch out for. And that's kind of it, really. I just wanted to get this out there. And uh, the more coverage this gets, hopefully um, people start doing stuff about it and start removing it uh, and stop using it. Because as obviously uh, noted by the one of the original creators, don't use it anymore <laughs> um, because they don't have any control over it. And it's now been used for malicious purposes. So that's the video. Um, yeah, spread it around, share. Um, let me know if I've missed anything. If there's any developments, of course, let me know as well. Um, if there's anything significant, I'll be cover it as well. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share the video around, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.